This is Larry Jordan and welcome to the Digital Production Buzz. Our goal is to talk about everything related to digital video from production to editing to output because what you don't know can oftentimes cost you a lot of time and sometimes a lot of money. Today I'd like to talk about how to improve your lighting and I'd like to give you four specific tips that you can use that's going to make your lighting look a whole lot better. And the first idea is lighting angles. When we work with the sun or we work with overhead lights, the light is high shining down and when it does, it causes very harsh shadows under the eyes and just makes the entire face look angular and much more frightening than it does if we have our lighting angle come at a lower level. Light is considered most pleasing if it's between 30 degrees and 45 degrees of eye level. This means that you're much better off lighting a scene with table lights than with overhead lights. Also avoid fluorescent lights. Fluorescent lights, unless they are specially built, have a very blue-green tint which is almost impossible to get rid of in your video. Fluorescent lights are not a good thing. Also, if you're using the sun for lighting outside, never shoot with the sun as your key light. It's way too harsh. There's nothing you can come in with from the other side that's going to make those shadows disappear. People are going to look gaunt and, and harsh, which most of the time is not our goal in the video that we shoot. Instead, move your angle so that the sun is a backlight and you shoot with the sun overhead which provides some separation of your talent from the background. And then fill in from the front either with reflectors or a camera light. Now here for instance is a, a nice little camera light made by light panels. It's called the micro light. It just sits on the front of your camera and it gives a nice clean beam of light straight from the camera angle to fill in all those shadows on, on a talent's face. If you don't have the ability to set up three-point lighting, which we talk about in our premium section, a nice camera light can make a big difference. Finally, don't mix color temperatures. Sunlight tends to be blue-white. Table lamp light tends to be orange-white. If you've got sunlight coming in from a window combining with table lamp light, you've got blue light combining with orange light, and you end up with an impossible scene where none of the colors look right. So you want to focus and make sure that the light is all the same temperature. If you're not using daylight, block the windows. If you are using daylight, don't light by using, by using table lights. Instead, there's gel that can be purchased at a variety of lighting supply stores, which is a light pale blue. You can put that on the inside of your table light and convert it from the orange interior light to a, a blue daylight. Pay attention to lighting angles. Pay attention to where the sun is. Never shoot with the sun. Always use the sun as a backlight. Use camera lights to fill in the front and make your talent face smooth out and make the wrinkles less intense. And make sure your light's all the same temperature. If you watch the premium edition of this podcast, we're going to give you even more tips and talk about how to light the interior of a scene with three-point lighting. You can also get more information from our website. In the meantime, my name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching the Digital Production Buzz.